Hey everybody, this is Don over at Johnny's Used Cars. Voted the best place to buy a car in Okinawa by the military community of Okinawa for the second consecutive year. That's right, we won last year in 2023 and we brought the title uh, back home this year in 2024. Stop by, we'll show you why like we have many, many others. Today I'm going to show this 2009 Suzuki Swift that just came in. It's got 79,000 kilometers on it, which is about 45,000 miles. Before we get started, I'd like to let you know that we do have on a lot discounts. So the price you're seeing on the website right now will not be the final price when you come on the lot. Also, if you're arriving in Okinawa soon, you just arrived, please make sure you stop by Johnny's Used Cars as soon as you can and have a look around. Even before you get yourself a driver's license, there are benefits of doing it that way. So with that, let's have a look around. I'll show you the features inside. But first, I'd like to ask you to please watch the video until the end. I do go over a lot of information in my videos, going to answer a lot of your questions. Things like the JCI, the warranty, the road tax. I cover all that and more, so please bear with me till the end. You have all the answers. If not, please contact me or stop on by. The Suzuki Swift is a five-passenger vehicle in the 500 series category, so the mid-size category. Road tax per year is going to be 7,500 yen, which is about um, $50 right now with the current exchange rate. Road tax is due every April, May time frame. So we're going to take care of the 2024 road tax for you. You won't have to worry about this till next April or May. Now, I do have two ways to pay for it. First one being U.S. dollars cash outright, which could get you a larger discount. Or take advantage of 0% financing for 24 months with zero down. Yes, we don't have a down payment requirement, but if you want to put something down, reduce your overall monthly payment, you can. A lot of our customers do like 500 to 1,000. Some do half, some do more. Up to you. Before we go inside, I was like showing the rain guards. Rain guards will allow you to roll your windows down a little bit. This way, if it rains, it's not going to get wet inside. More important feature benefit is going to give you a cross ventilation, get that extremely hot air out. And always get yourself a good windshield visor. you got to keep that dash as cool as possible. So in addition to that, you may want to consider buying a dash cover. Or if you want to keep it simple, go ahead and buy yourself a big, a bigger bath towel or a beach towel, lighter in color, and just put it across the dash. So with that, let's jump on inside and get this thing started. Like I said, it's just coming in. It's going to be a little dirty. Let's uh, get this thing started. Now, you can either start it with the key or this key fob's on it. You can just go ahead and crank it over. And it starts okay either way and then if the key fob battery dies you can slide this over this will come out like a regular key like this one okay let's uh, sneak this in here 73,002 on the uh, odometer uh, showed a couple of warning lights ah, let's start with the seatbelt one um, make sure you wear your seatbelts they do give tickets on and off base okay and then that one over there the circle one and this one actually says brake a lot of them don't but that's your emergency brake this one's a handbrake, so when you disengage it goes away, engage it comes right back on. And that orange one is obviously just uh, for the fuel. It just came in, so we need to put some fuel in it, which we will uh, do. Well, then that's a very simple, straightforward, straight-ahead instrument cluster. And then it pops up on a dash while you're driving. Please pull over, find out what it is, take the necessary action, okay? Up to the right here on top of the uh, dash, you got a little display. It's going to show you the outside temperature, or the, the clock and the outside temperature. Then you have your radio, air conditioning controls, Little tray here for some storage, cup holders, power outlet, and the shifter. Here's the handbrake as I told you about, and you have one cup, cup holder back there. Uh, to the left, you have your glove box, and then a little bit of storage on each door panel. That is your passenger space over there. You got your red road flare hanging out. Then this is the space I have in mind. Ooh, wow, hold on a second. So this is the uh, space I have on my side. The seat is now all the way back, all the way down. I am 5'11", as everybody loves knowing. Um, I mean, I can drive like this, or I can slide it up a couple inches and still be comfortable driving. Uh, let's go eye level. That's my eye level right there. Really can't see anything past the windshield wipers like on most vehicles. All the way back. Now, normally I take this time to show you the auction sheet, showing you that this is a non-accident vehicle from mainland Japan. Please keep that in mind. Graded non-accident from the auctions up in mainland. Well, there's other dealers out here can't tell you that on all their cars. We can for each one. But because it just came out, or just got in, I keep those inside the office until it's been detailed. Once detailed, I'm going to put it up here on the sun, uh, sun visor on the driver's side so you can see that for yourself. We'll help you decipher it if need be. And there are dealers out here that will try to discredit the auction sheet. Stop by, we'll explain why. Alright, so let's show you just a couple other things before we go to the back seat. I'm going to try to keep the door closed so I can take advantage of this air conditioning. All right, so over here you have a, a slot here for a few coins, and then this one's going to, I'm going to have to open it. This one's going to control the angle of your headlights. So maybe it's a foggy morning, want to see the street a little better, that's where you're going to do it. And then down here you have your uh, hood release, okay? Then please don't forget in the corner here on the floor you have your gas cover release. 
Then on the door panel, you have your mirror, window, and door lock controls all right here. All right, so let's uh, turn this off. Let's head to the back seat. All right. All right, so with the seat all the way back, all the way down, I'm pretty, I'm exactly flush with it, uh, with my knees. Nothing as far as storage on the back of the driver's seat, but you have pocket storage. On the back of the passenger seat, as always, be careful what you put in there. You don't want to rip it on each side. And it does have a grocery bag hook up to three kilograms, which is about six and a half pounds. Now, you can see there's not a whole lot of space depending on how you have these things reclined. So uh, you may need to put, uh, pull this or uh, move these forward if you have other passengers in the back. And then nothing as far as storage on the door panels. No center console or armrest or anything like that, okay? Let's go to the back here. So here's your rear space. So you have a little bit of stow and go underneath here, okay? Or grab and go, I should say. And then you do have this privacy cover. Now this privacy cover can come out. All you're going to do is pop it up from those sides and it'll come out if you have to haul stuff. And then all you're going to do is push this forward Get the uh, seat belt out of the way, and those will both go uh, down. And then again, if you have this out, you can have this whole space open. All right? Not bad for a compact car. Let's go to the front here, show you the engine compartment, then I'm going to wrap this video up. All right, there you go. It's a 1.2 liter engine, which will be cleaned during the detailing process. All right, so there you have it, 2009 Suzuki Swift, 73,000 kilometers on it, which again, about 45,000 miles. Military prices are at 4,600, but additional military discount, we'll get it down to 40, uh, 4,400. Again, while you're here, please ask the information you got about on the lot discounts, and you will get a lower price on this. For now, the 4,400 will include a two-year JCI, the one-year bumper-to-bumper full warranty, the 2024 road tax, and the 10% sales tax is already included. Only thing on top will be the American insurance requirement. Whether you're going to liability or full coverage, which is totally up to you, and we can assist you with that here. Touching on these warranties real quick, yes, there are two-year warranties out here. However, they're not the best thing since sliced bread, so don't be fooled by them. Stop by, we'll explain why. But we do encourage you to shop around, go to the dealers, see what they have, check out the condition, mileage, and pricing of their vehicles, then stop by Johnny's Used Cars and show we have what our program is all about and how we can assist you. We are definitely making a difference out here because we are different. It's one of the many reasons why we did win the Sergeant Stripes, Best Specific Magazines, Best Place to Buy a Car in Okinawa Award for the second consecutive year. Again, stop by, we'll show you why. Don't forget two ways to pay for it. U.S. dollars cash outright, which could get you a larger discount, or take advantage of the 0% financing for 24 months. Either way, we're good to go. So uh, don't forget, please like and subscribe. And as always, thank you very much for watching. Take care. Hope to see you soon.